Hello, Aline Wilson here, standing under the magic of glass. Today, I'm going to try to explain to you the significance of something called coefficient of expansion. Here are the properties that we are most concerned with. Keep this in mind when you're doing various temperatures. Okay, now, this is what we're going to do. I have a clear blank with a COE of 82, one of 90, one of 96, and one that I don't know. Now, 82 is float glass, 90 is bullseye, 96 is spectrum. This is old window glass, probably before float glass. Now, on each of these, I put an unknown bottle scrap, a 96, and a 90. 90, 90, 90, 96, 96, 96, okay? Now, we're going to see, using polarized film, Uh, we've got it placed now with the polarized film. And if you remember, polarized film transmits light in only one plane. But if we use a second piece of polarized film and turn it 90 degrees, we cut out the other plane. If you remember, we did a channel on how to tell whether you could fuse two different pieces of glass together or not. Now, You'll see that glow. This is 82. And the only place you don't see glow is the bottle. Now move over to the second piece. This was 90. Bullseye. And you see the 96 and the unknown bottle scrap glow, which means I could not mix those glasses with my 90 strip. Over here is the 96, the spectrum. And what do you see? Glow around the 90 and around the bottle scrap, but not around the 96. So you have to do 96 to 96. Now, this old piece, which I told you, don't have any idea how old that wonder glass was. And everything is going except that bottle scrap again. But I wouldn't use this on anything because everything is unknown. Okay. Okay. Now. Here's that list of properties again. Um, we need to know density. That's uh, grams per milliliter or per cubic centimeter. Uh, if, for example, we're doing a pot mill, we want to know how much glass it's going to take to make, say, an 8-inch circle. We'd have to calculate density or use density in our calculation. Um, surface tension. We saw a really good example of this when we talked about the effect of time on glass uh, when we did two channels called effect of temperature and effect of time. And we saw the glass curl up into almost a ball. Coefficient of expansion. Viscosity. Viscosity becomes important when you're doing a raking because we want the glass fluid enough to be easily moved in the kiln. Back to coefficient expansion. It, the numbers that we use are somehow a compilation of all these physical properties of glass. 
it becomes important to us when we choose a glass to work with. And probably the biggest significance is when you buy glass to fuse. You want to be sure you get all the same COE. And the manufacturer stamps or tickets the glass that says, this is COE 90, 96, whatever. And that way you're confident that the red and the blue will fuse together. So when you're buying your glass, be sure you look at coefficient of expansion. Thanks for watching. Bye.